for the rated tape you already know what it is we in the building and we got some all 22 film on on rookie season defensive performance by our rookies malcolm Kuntz, nate hobbs and devon diablo as y'all know devon diablo finally got some burn in the regular season see what he's looking like as well as malcolm Kuntz. nate hobbs has been putting on already he's looking like a pro bowl nickel cornerback and we're gonna jump into this but if y'all can hit that like button hit the subscribe button if y'all new here and without further ado let's raid the tape all right now on this first play i already got him chalked up in order of Malcolm Kuntz, he only had a couple of plays. I believe he played only so many snaps. I think a handful, maybe ten. Um, and there was a couple of plays I seen that were that were obviously stood out to me. Um, one was the sack. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. On this first one right here, we have Malcolm Kuntz lined up to the left of your screen. He's lined up right over the tight end. Gives up a long arm, stands him up, gets low, and gets to Heineke. Like to see that how he gets that bend. Let's go ahead and go back. Watch it one more time. Right here to the left of your screen. Stands up the tight end right there. And obviously the tight end is going to uh, go ahead and do a drag. He's just going to um, go. Exactly. He releases Kuntz. But what I like mostly is that Kuntz continues to drive. He gets low. And watch his arm go ahead and swipe down. Gets low. Gets that bend. Gets the angle on him. Looking like he's crawling on the floor like a centipede. And he gets there. Puts his hand down. And we've seen him all offseason. This is this is exactly why you do those drills. So we're getting in that work right there. But right here, we're going to see Malcolm Coons shooting off the line. Just straight up bull rushing through that right tackle. I don't know who that right tackle is. But go ahead and bench him for Malcolm Coons. 72 is getting put on a poster. Boom, get off the line. I think that's, is that Charles Leno from, he used to play for the Bears. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely want to go back. Let's look at that get off. Let's look at the get off. Let's see who, let's see who gets off first. And it's not him. It's, it looks like he's the last one to get off. Um, and he still happens to win there. Good play by the defensive backs. Definitely some, definitely some good coverage there. Taylor Heineke probably could have hit that out route right there about a 40-yard marker. Um, definitely could have probably hit the seam if he has the rocket for it. But he ends up holding on to the ball. And Malcolm Kuntz is just driving, driving, pushes the guy straight back. Watch it from this, watch it from this end zone angle. Here he is. You have Cleveland Furl on the other end. Let's see how let's see that get off. And you see people moving. People are up. Malcolm Kuntz. Doesn't really get the best get off right there, but he definitely shows his power. Bull rushes straight through and gets to the quarterback. Him and Klee pair up for a sack. Now let's go ahead and move on. Right here we have, right here we have the Nate Hobbs performance. Few plays in here just showing how much of a dog he is, why he is our great nickel corner rookie that we ended up drafting. Shout out Gus Bradley. He's not afraid to get in there, make a play, get dirty. Get in the trenches, and this is what I'm talking about. This is what you want to see from your nickel corner. Right here, you're going to see on the freeze frame, he pops right into the left of your screen, comes down, gets around that lineman, scoops around, wraps up the leg of Antonio Gibson, and says, thank you, thank you. Move on to this play. This right here was a third and long. Obviously, you see him um, probably about 10 yards down, uh, 15 yards off the ball, and he comes in to make a play. Uh, that's what you'd like to see. He made the play, although it was way downfield. He pops into the screen, and the moment he pops into the screen, he makes the play. Good hustle by Mac. Uh, was that what was that Solomon Thomas on the backside, showing no quit, showing no quit at all. And then you can see it. Watch him one more time. You can see him right there at the top of your screen. And this right here was a third and long. Washington decides to run a draw play. Nate Hobbs gets in there. Solomon Thomas uh, from behind helps clean up. Definitely good hustle by Solomon Thomas. You can see Solomon Thomas right there lined up over the tackle. Does a spin. Finds out it's a draw. Continues to use his motor to get downfield. Him and Nate Hobbs combine for a good tackle to stop them on third and long. Good play. You see him lined up right here. You get the motion and some movement. And this was interesting because this looks just like the play Jonathan Abram has. Tell me if I'm wrong. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And check this out. 
You see him right there. See the freeze frame. He comes up. Watch how he gets to the lineman and he gets to that gets to the tackle him and Denzel Perriman get in the backfield definitely a good performance from Hobbs right here he's just showing he is not afraid to get in the trenches and this right here is showing okay okay we can get work in them trenches but what about when we get in the backfield what about when the ball is in the air and then you actually got to play some coverage and here we are getting in the right spot at the right time and we come up with an interception this is what you like to see you know and this is an example of why I always say from I, you know kind of in my opinion that Gus Bradley puts guys in position to make plays and it's up to the players to actually make the play because you see here Casey Hayward actually dropped it but Nate Hobbs was there to clean it up and actually um create the turnover so shout out to Nate Hobbs rookie season is upon us and we're seeing the performance Devon Diablo coming up with a tackle right here Nothing too crazy. You get the motion. You get the movement. He's trying to diagnose. And finally, um, he comes up to clean up for the tackle. Number one thing I would say about Devon Diablo is that he, he it seems like he's still processing somewhat. But he has that speed. And the moment it clicks, the moment he ends up uh, not hesitating. And you'll see here, he kind of has a little hezzy, I feel like, um, right there. He kind of hesitates. Almost as if the running back is going to cut back. But I think if he just shoots the gap and goes for, straight for Antonio Gibson, he blows him up, man. Honestly, you see uh, Abram is getting picked up by two guys. Maybe that was uh, part of why he's running so free right here. But he still forces him to go outside. Brandon Faison comes up, makes the tackle. Good job forcing him outside and going to help clean up. Here you see him lined up right next to Perriman. He comes up through, through the blitz in that B gap. And it disrupts the pass, but he ends up <clears throat> forces a high pass, actually. Um, but he still gets in the backfield. What I like to see from him right here is get in the quarterback's face. I know that the lineman kind of pushes you there, but kind of, you know, I, I think you could jump. Smack the ball down if you can. It's like he didn't even really go for the quarterback, but I see the lineman definitely pushed him. So let's go on to the next play. Nice. Just fills the gap. Um, playing that. Playing that inside backer right here. Looks like he came in for Perriman. Got KJ right next to him for the assistance. Goes up. Boom. Fills the gap. Would have definitely liked the contact to have stopped where he met him. Got to be a little bit more downhill. But he's out here making plays. He's out here getting around. Uh, being Trying to be fluid. Definitely showing off the speed. It's his first game. And I think this is just, we're just getting started, man. I definitely think we're just getting started. You see him push outside, taking the spot of KJ Wright in this instance. Uh, Corey Littleton, uh, Corey Littleton, actually. Interesting, interesting. Go ahead and get some movement. You get the shift from the O-line. You get a play-action pass. And you see him out here on coverage. And in my opinion, this isn't his fault. Brandon Faison needs to get his head moving, right? And I'm going to go back to this one. And I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to just give you my opinion why I don't think it's Devon Diablo necessarily, right? He could have definitely continued following him. But at this moment right here, right, he's in the middle of the field. There's three players at the top of the screen, okay? You have Devon Diablo here. You have Brandon Faison. And you have, uh, I'm not sure who that is. It might be Nate Hobbs. Now, we've seen this against Pittsburgh. Casey Hayward released this guy who's doing a post and is going to run straight into the safety, released him, and then cuts back to the tight end. But Brandon Faison doesn't do that. Brandon Faison continues to follow the receiver, continues to follow the receiver, and that's when that opening, that's when you get that opening. And Taylor Heineke was, that's basically what Taylor Heineke was waiting for. Hits him right on the button. That's why we need to definitely get, um, Definitely need some cornerback help. I wonder if Mullen was there, how he would have played that. Mm, you don't really know, obviously, because we haven't seen Mullen in some time. And we, But we definitely need cornerback help with this. I didn't like that play right there. But Devon Diablo with the speed and uh, the instincts to continue carrying out to the play and finishing it before he gets to the end zone. This play right here is the best play, in my opinion. Best play, in my opinion. You see him lined up right there. To the, it looks like to the top of your screen. 
and he comes in to blow up the screenplay against one of the best guards in football in my opinion this is brandon sheriff which is you know probably a top five top three guard in the league you know and you see him come down pop him pushes him back and then gets in to make the tackle really a solo tackle it wasn't even wasn't even a uh, an assist or anything faces a lineman gets in the backfield and makes a play that's definitely what i like to see if you guys like this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you guys are new here uh i haven't uh, i definitely do film breakdowns all the time if you like watching film make sure to hit that join button join the membership so you can go live with the members and we could watch film together you could join the stream and we could definitely talk more football especially Raiders football um until next time though you already know what it is rate the tape